A visual example is worth a thousand words. I use the balance wheel to coach clients unlock their unlimited potential. And it doesn't hurt to look at a good example. Hi, I'm Ahmed Oves, coach and founder of Agile 7. Now, before we look into the example that comes from Kazuyoshi Hisano's CEO coaching book, I will put the link in the description. I'd like to point out to and point you out to an introductory video that I created and a free template that's available on Miro that you can just practice. So if you are not familiar with the idea of balance wheel, you may want to take it a look. And I'll put the link for that video and description in and with uh, the template and video in the description. And just so this is what it looks like. Uh, there's the template that you can start to use and also there's the video of very short through a four minute video that describes how to use it. So coming back to the example. Now, first thing first, uh, let's notice for this particular individual, what are the eight areas that are important for, for this person? Family, friends, health, community, education, finance, hobby, and work. And, and your area is different. And the the reason this tool exists is it's very specific and unique to you. And instead of ignoring and standardizing it, we try to embrace that and unlock that latent potential and energy that's there. So your labels could be different, but if you're starting out, you could start with these generic labels. And this example is using the most safest form of those. Um, you could also have more than eight areas, it's just you know you need to extend this out. So notice what these labels are called. Now, what we'll do is we'll dive into a few of these, not all of them, um, and I will post the link to this uh, example in description as well, so you can look at it in more detail um, uh, when, when you have some time at your leisure. So um, we are going to ask the three questions, and if you're not familiar, you may want to look at the introductory video, the three questions, the three rules for a good goal. Set a goal that is far outside your comfort zone. Set a goal that is a have to goal, sparks joy versus a, oh, sorry, I said the opposite thing. A goal that is a want to goal that sparks joy versus a goal that you have to do. And set many, many goals, which is very different from other coaching mechanisms, but it's important that you're imagining is different from the editing part. So, and we really emphasize that, that work in progress, for example, work in progress limit is on doing, not imagining. It's important to be able to imagine and really crystallize the future you want to create for yourself. So let's look at uh, work. Work is a good starting point. So this particular individual is imagining that in a particular year, maybe in year 2022, the company has gone public and is listed in New York Stock Exchange. And uh, the person is also imagining that the entire company is united in moving toward the most ambitious goals. And then succession is in place. And then there are new products and adjacent products and new segments that they're, they're acquiring. So... Again, notice a lot of imagining, but that's very critical for the right way to do goal setting. Now, also on the family side, just being with my family makes me happy. There's everybody's realizing their dreams, they're enjoying their life, their respect, and there's love in each other. And you have to hold that energy for imagination, for your mind to start to create the reality. And in cognitive coaching, we say that you set the goal first. You perceive the goal first and then reality follows. And it's important to see what works in in practice and coaching, you know, hundreds of people. And I've seen, uh, you know, I've heard from Hisano Sano, his own experiences. It's pretty consistent. So what I'll do is, you know, I'll leave the links for you. I don't want to go each one of them and um, describe, but I want you to, to notice patterns. So what have you been noticing? What are the statements? You're so why is the person saying I am or I, uh, you know, this is what I can do or is why is it that I will be doing because we want to make sure that the imagining part is resonating or is there so let me know which one of these are resonating with you which one of the ones which ones that you say that you want to pick it up for your own goals and achievement um, leave a comment saying that hey this particular one resonated with me or you know I would love to steal this one for myself so, so finally, um, again, I'll pro drop all the links, um, my own newsletter, uh, the YouTube channel, and I, uh, I would love to hear from you whether this is working out if you want more content. So if you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, uh, be sure to hit subscribe before you go. And that is all. Thank you, everyone.